Welcome back. We are here on Ezo looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for uh, September 24th, uh, 2020. If you want to support this channel, you're welcome to subscribe and uh, leave a like button as well. So we'll start out by looking at the WTI oil. And as you can see, we have rallied in, the, in this morning's uh, trading session. We're still not finished. And uh, at this point, we're probably going to retest the um, 200 moving average. If you look at the four hour chart, we are actually trading between the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. So we, we could actually go all the way up to uh, 41 before uh, we go back down. I am uh, bearish on, on the WTI due to the fact that the the world economy is slowing down and demand for oil is just going to be uh, lower um, and um, there is no reason for this market to go anytime uh, go higher anytime soon if we were to go higher then we we have the resistance of the, the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average um, if we break the 50 moving average we'll probably go to uh, 35 dollars um, but i don't expect us to do that if we break down from here, which I think that we will do, we'll go test this lows at the $36, then go down to $35, and probably all the way down to $30. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement, then the first retracement is exactly at $30. So um, in probably in a few weeks, we may basically see prices fall down to these levels. Um, uh, so, yes, that may happen uh, in the next few trading days, and probably not a few trading days, but in a few weeks' time. If you look at the uh, technical indicators, the, the MACD is above the signal line. We haven't crossed it, but we're in negative territory. Uh, the stochastic it has broken the signal line, indicating that it will go lower. And uh, for, the, uh, for the RSI, we have uh, we're basically in the middle we're not oversold not overbought so uh, i reckon that will break down every um increase in price is basically a, a buying opportunity every time we get close to the 200 moving average or better the 50 moving average at 31 dollars it should be a massive resistant and a good buying opportunity so we look at natural gas Well, natural gas, I spoke yesterday that if we got close to the 50 moving average, we should expect this market to absolutely explode. And we have done so in this um, in this morning's trading session. We have uh, the price of um, natural gas, I think it was up 5, 7, 5 or 6%. Um, at this point, the resistance should be at 2.7 uh, if we it, we probably won't get there today, but but we're close. This has all to do with uh, with uh, massive demand for natural gas, as uh, weather conditions are um, extremely uh, extremely warm in most uh, parts of the United States. So, as long as that is the case, every fall back to the fifty moving average is a buying opportunity. We didn't even get close to the fifty moving average, and we basically exploded to the upside. So this market is very volatile. Um, I I would technically not enter this market at this point because it can also uh, ju uh, jump back down as, as fast as it is jumped up. So the best way to trade this is probably just to wait until we get to these support levels and then enter the market. <clears throat> and of course, in this market, a stop loss is definitely needed. If you look at the technical indicators, they are really bullish. We're about to cross the signal line for the MACD on the uh, daily chart. The, uh, the stochastic is uh, also pointing to upward pressure in the, the price action. And we are not oversold, so we have a lot. I mean, not overbought, so we're not, not even close to the, the highs at the moment. Um, if we were to break this top which has historically been resistant, we see it all also here. Then we'll go to this next top here of 2.9. Uh, $3, three dollars um, should be um, massive resistant and it will probably take a lot of 
effort to get through three uh, three dollars. If we do that, we'll jump all the way up to three point three six and and so on. So look at you know, let's look at copper. It's right here. So copper prices have dropped quite significantly um, in this trading session. We are down to 3% and we are getting close to the 50 moving average. And as I said yesterday, 50 moving average has been massive support in this market uh, for a very long time. We can see here the last time we hit the 50 moving average, we basically jumped the next four days trade session uh, to the upside by, by nearly 7%. However, at this point, the technical indicators are fairly negative, especially the, the uh, stochastic is pointing to, um, to a downward uh, pressure here. So we may have a retest of these 50 moving average, probably cross it. And if we basically end above, uh, that means that we'll probably go higher from here. If we look at the uh, weekly chart, then this market yeah, uh, yeah, we could basically see the market uh, go all the way down to the 200 moving average. If we, if we, um, to uh, to be very honest, um, we have tested that a long time ago. This was in uh, this was in in um, in August, uh, in the beginning of August, and then we bounced from there. But since then, we have been way over uh, over down 200 moving average. And if we look at the technical indicators for for the for copper uh, for the weekly chart then this is really negative um, we are about to cross the signal line uh, indicating that we'll go lower so we may actually drop to 2.7 if our 50 moving average here breaks so if we have a, a break of a, basically a candlestick that stops underneath and then tomorrow another candlestick underneath here, a full candlestick, that means that we'll probably go all the way down to this level of um, 2.7. Um, of course, and uh, the appreciation of the US dollar doesn't help this market either. So listen, let's look at, at gold. So gold has broken down quite significantly. We broke through this triangle uh, now a long time ago, and uh, we have, could have gone upwards, we could have gone, uh, gone downwards. However, we did break the triangle uh, three trading sessions ago, and at this point, I think it's just a matter of time before we test this level at, uh, at 80, 1800. So 1800 should be significant support for this market and also a really good entry to this market. So I'm going to wait for that just to see what's going to happen. I don't expect gold to bounce uh, uh, all of a sudden from here. That is not going to be the case. Uh, we're just gonna, I'm just going to wait for value until it gets down to the 1800 level and then to enter this market. So if you look at the technical indicators, they're all very, very negative. Uh, momentum is to the downside for, uh, for, the, for, the, for the MACD, also for the stochastic. And at the moment, we are not oversold. That means that we have some, uh, basically, um, some downward pressure still before we get into the, to the oversold uh, condition. And that may well be at around 1800, uh, probably before that. Um, we see that the um, 200 moving average is going to go this way. And therefore, this 200 moving average will also be a significant support for this market. If you look at the weekly chart, we can see that we have crossed the signal line indicating that we are going to go much lower in this market. Um, 1800 will most likely be tested. So if you look at silver, so silver has broken down. Yeah, we'll take the daily chart first. Similar to, to, um, to gold, we uh, had this triangle here, which we tested for 
several weeks, we did not manage to break out of the triangle. Instead, we broke uh, to the upside. We said we broke to the downside. We also broke through the uh, 50 moving average. And at this point, we are going much lower. We may uh, go as low as, if you take the Fibonacci retracement here, we may go as low as as to this 50 moving average, which is at the at $20 level. We are about to test the first 38.2% uh, uh, Fibonacci retracement. And that's looking like a, a little resistant, but if we break that, if we have a candlestick underneath there, we'll definitely go to the 50 uh, Fibonacci retracement. Uh, we will also have the 200 moving average um, traveling this direction, so that will also be uh, support. So we'll probably bounce from 20. If you look at technical years, they are very, very, very negative. We are almost in the oversold um, uh, area. Not uh, completely yet, uh, but both the MACD and the uh, Stochastic are um, pointing to that we are going to go much lower in this market. So we'll go to Gakoa. Gakoa has rallied um, this morning and and I don't think that is going to hold, especially because you look at the technical indicators, they are, especially the sarcastic, is pointing to downward pressure that would go and go lower from here. Uh, I do expect, pro we'll probably have a bounce today, but uh, at some point I do expect us to go and retest this 200 moving average or probably the 50 moving average when it crosses this, uh, this golden cross here. Um, that's that's technically what I expected. In the moment, we are in no man's land. It's not a good entry to buy. It's not a good entry to sell. Uh, we technically have to wait until this market uh, falls uh, even further or uh, you know, breaks through this um, uh, these highs here in order to go to the next highs of 2.8. Yes, that's all. Uh, so Platinum. So Platinum has broken to, through the 200 moving average and actually the moment we're trading underneath the 200 moving average. This is a really negative sign for Platinum. Um, this happened extremely fast. The last only three trading sessions we were above the 50 moving average and then we broke down really significantly. And at this point there is a, a massive downward pressure on, on, on Platinum. And the next major uh, support area is is in this area here. Uh, we can draw this up uh, around this area. We also broke through that and this area here. So this area here should be uh, major support. Uh, if you get all the way down here and break through, then we have this next support area here. Um, this all depends. We look at the weekly chart. It is very similar to most commodities. They are falling all mainly due to the uh, to the US dollar uh, appreciating. So we may see this, um, we see platinum fall significantly more because the US dollar is, is going to appreciate it for another one or two weeks before it uh, will turn around and, and fall. Uh, and as we can see, the weekly chart, we're about to cross the signal line. This is not a good sign for platinum as for most commodities. Uh, we'll most likely see much lower prices within the next uh, few trading days. Um, so I'm going to add um, a few commodities to the next um, video. I'm going to look at, for example, cotton, corn, uh, nickel and so on and add uh, a, a lot more commodities to these analysis as they are the most uh, uh, popular videos that I do make. So so um, I'll add one and one uh, commodity to these analysis uh, uh, into the future. So if you like this video, you're welcome to subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. So good luck. Uh, the market is quite crazy at the moment. So uh, take care and good luck.